All right. Hi, everyone. Sailor Moon here. Serena here. And Sailor Mars here. Or <clears throat> Ray here. Or Sailor Red World here. And today we're going to be making a film talking about folks that make a big deal about all the things that Deke and later on Pioneer did to Sailor Moon. Now, some of the things they make a big deal of, you might not think they should make a big deal of, but they do. You know, like names being shifted. Now, we talked about this many times about borrowed names being shifted. You know, a lot of Sailor Moon followers, you know, bitch and ran about why they had to shift out the Donish borrowed names for Latinus or Frenchus or Spanish or I don't know uh Hebrew um we'll say I don't know Hebrewish or Hellenish or Black Landish borrowed names. And the only grounds I can come up with is that very few, that English didn't really borrow a lot of names from Donish. And English borrowed names from more speeches than it did from Donish, so those would be the names that most folks will speaking English would know and most likely would be their name. That's the only grounds I can come up with for it. Another thing they make a big deal is is uh, deep taking any uh, about you know about you know about I don't know about zoisite and you know milikite being shifted. You know, Kunsite and Zoisite being shifted to Milikite and Zoisite, and then Zoisite becoming a woman. The only guess I could come up with is that Deke at the time felt that if did I don't know if Deke fought this, or they may have thought that there would be that they fought that two men and some kind of kinship may have been not the right thing for folks to watch at that time. Because there was a belief or a mindset at the time. If you were doing anything like that in a show, film, or play for children and it was seen as wrong. It wasn't how it was uh, today with the, mi uh, with the mindset and stand today being what it is now. We would be thankful that a lot more folks are open-minded and trusting and understanding of unstraightness and those who are unstraight. But back then there wasn't really that, there wasn't really a lot of that. So Deke had to do what they had to do. I don't know why they did, but Deke did. I'm not saying it was the right thing for Deke to do, but Deke did it. I don't know why. Then another thing that we also have, <clears throat> another thing that ah, <clears throat> that we also have to uh, talk about is little small nitpicks that uh, folks make about it. Like, you want to say some stuff? Oh yeah, Sailor Moon. Some of the nitpicks that folks do is like you know, you know, driving. On right side of the street instead of driving on the left side of the street how some folks drive on the left side in some lands and some folks drive on the right in some lands I don't know why but they made a big deal about that why they did who knows they did another thing that they kind of made a big deal about was <clears throat> you know how when we're fighting the dark kingdom and we go to, I'm going to say, the North Steeple. And I guess, so even it wasn't a North Steeple, it may have been, I don't know. And they made a big deal about us being taken by the Dark Kingdom instead of being slain as we were. <clears throat> and they also seem to make a big deal about anything that Deke may have cut out of Sailor Moon. You know, I don't know, like slapping or some of the fighting that was going on or shifting stridden or shifting strike names, which let's be earnest. I mean, let's be earnest about that. Deke shifted stead uh, strike names, but then Viz would ship. But then again, so did pioneer too. Only pioneer wanted everything to be more near to the, to the Toei one 
thinking that that would be thinking that that would make everyone like the where well, everybody would cut that everybody would love that one. Now, instead, no near names were shifted to, you know, and a lot of folks made a big deal about that one. <clears throat> so at the end of the day, I truly do not know why uh, Deke did what they did back in the day. And I don't, we'll never know. We will never truly know why they made the chooses to do what they did. Like, you know, cut some of the, some sagas out of the first following of Sailor Moon. Like, you know, the, like cutting them on when Malvin went bad, or more like he was brainwashed. Or when there was the throat shop of evil bunny, evil bunny like beings. Or the one where you go to a nightclub and they cut that one out. Let's not forget about some other ones they may have also cut it out too. Like they cut out the one where, you know, Mina, Sailor Venus, Sailor Hellworld's back saga. To how she was a sailor fighter in the 4-1 kingdom before coming to Dawnland. Itch. There's bugs. Gnats. You know, they're on me. Well, anyway, yeah, back to you now, Sailor Moon. You got any more to say about that? Yeah, you're right, Sailor Mars. You're right, Ray, Sailor Red World. You're right, there's like so many things that Sailor Moon followers make a, made a big deal of, and some more than others. I mean, they also made a big deal about, well, and don't forget about that one saga and the two diff following, where they cut it out where, you know, Sailor Mini Moon befriended a dead weight by the name of Giraffe. They cut that out. You know, who knows why that was, but it was cut out. And a lot of folks don't really, don't really, a lot of folks like to guilt Deke for Pioneer's doing. But keep in mind, um, Deke really had nothing to do with Pioneer Sailor Moon at all beyond the names that were made, and that was it. Pioneer chose to take Sarah Yornis, Sailor Skyrill, tomorrow, and Sailor Neptune, Sailor Seaworld, and Michelle, and make them, instead of being unstraight lovers, make them near Ken. And who knows why that was done, but they made a big deal of that one. And he got Fish Eye, or Fish's Eye, however you go by saying her name. And they made a big deal about that, about Fish Eye going from a man to a woman. I guess it was the same grounds to why Zoysite became a woman were the same grounds to why Fish Eye became a woman. I guess so. We'll never know why Pioneer chose to do that, but they did choose to do that. And a lot of folks believe that the grounds to why Sailor Stars never ever gotten any work, that why Deke or Pioneer or any business never had anything to do or for kids or whatever, never had, never did nothing with, uh, uh, Sailor Stars up until Viz got the rights to work with it. It had nothing to do with the Sailor Starlights. It had really to do with Toei not wanting to, not really wanting to deal it out. And Toei did put a lock on down on any Sailor Moon thing that they owned from 24 between while to 2010 YL when they started started working with when they started doing anything with Sailor Moon again. Now, the way that I look at this here at the end of the day is, yeah, these Sailor Moon followers, they did make a big deal about some things, but they just may have been Nick small picking on the other things out there, <clears throat> which at the end of the day, I don't really think there was a big deal about that. Am I crooked? No, it's just the way the shooter makes you look crooked. Hey! Anyway, <clears throat> at the end of the day, we'll never know, but I think the Deep Glee, Pioneer Glee Sailor Moon, you know, was good. Was it flawless? No. But it was good. And for a lot of folks out there, 
this might put us put us in the so we're a black sheep at a Sailor Moon follower ship due to liking the deep glee Sailor Moon, pioneer glee Sailor Moon, you know, instead of hating on it like half of the Sailor Moon followership does. Well, give us your thoughts on this, Sailor Mars. What do you think? Well, all right, Sailor Moon. Give us your thoughts on it. Did you like the deep glee Sailor Moon, the pioneer glee Sailor Moon back in the day? Or do you hate it now and only like the Viz Sailor Moon? Well, you know, we liked all three Sailor Moons, Deek, Pioneer, and, and Viz. Hell, Renaissance Atlantic Entertainment, we liked that Sailor Moon as well. And that only had one saga to its name. We'll see you later.